All right, guys. So many people are wondering where are all of Ash's Pokemon today? He has caught lots of different Pokemon in lots of different regions now, and they've all sort of gone to different locations. And today we're going to go over that. Um, we'll start with the easy ones. The Pokemon that he has with him uh, in the uh, sort of Sun and Moon region. And with him, of course, he's got his Pikachu, he's got his Rowlet, he's got his Lycanroc, and his Litten. These are the Pokemon he carries with him. Along with that, he's technically got his Rotom Pokedex, although he's never caught it. It is a Pokemon that travels with him. Uh, next up, we've got all of the Pokemon that are with Professor Oak. Uh, we've got Bulbasaur, his Charizard, Kingler, his Muck, 30 of his Tauros that he caught at the Safari Zone, his Snorlax, his Heracross, his Bayleaf, his Quilava, his Totodile, his Shiny Noctowl, his Donphan, his Swallow, his Sceptile, his Corfish, his Torkoal, his Glalie, his Staraptor, his Torterra, his Infernape, his Weasel, his Gl Gliscor, his Gibble, his Unpheasant, his Oshawott, his Tip Tepig, his Snivy, his Scraggy, his Leaf Viani, his Palatode, his Bulldore, his Crocodile, his Talonflame, his Halucha, and his Noivern. These are all stored away with Professor Oak, uh, presumably having a good time on his uh, ranch or lab. Uh, next up are the Pokemon that are in training. Uh, meaning these are Pokemon that Ash has caught formally and he left behind with another trainer or in some way to uh, sort of, I guess, work out and get stronger. Uh, first, we've got the Squirtle Squad. Uh, he left his Squirtle with his squir with the Squirtle Squad. Uh, he's the sort of the ringleader there. Uh, and he helps out the uh, police solve all types of crimes, Officer Jenny. Uh, next, we've got, of course, the Squirtle's on call. He's returned uh, several times to help Ash in various battles, but he's basically left there. Uh, next, we've got Primate. Uh, Primate is, he left Primate with Anthony to train at the uh, Pokemon Gym after he won uh, that event. And he's basically there, again, sort of ready on call uh, if Ash ever needs him. The next section are Pokemon that Ash has released and are unlikely that they will come back, but... You know, we never know. Uh, first, we've got Butterfree. Butterfree was released in Bye Bye Butterfree uh, when Butterfree found a mate, and Dash just decided it was best for Butterfree uh, to have a happy life with a uh, mate and possibly have, you know, kids rather than travel around with Ash. So, Ash was released. Uh, so, Butterfree was released in that episode. Uh, next is Pidgeot. Uh, Pidgeot was released in the episode Pallet Town Panic, where a bunch of Spearow attacked Ashen and his... Uh, where a bunch of Spearow were attacking a bunch of Pidgeys and Pidgeotos. Uh, Ash's Pidgeotto evolved into a Pidgeot that episode, and Ash decided it was best for Pidgeot to remain there to protect uh, the other Pidgeys and Pidgeotos from the Fero and the Spearows that had attacked them. Uh, Ash promised Pidgeot that he would return, but, uh, unfortunately, he just never got around to it. And Pidgeot is still flying around Pallet Town somewhere. Uh, next is Lapras. Lapras was picked up at the beginning of the Orange Islands. It was used sort of as a vehicle for Ash to travel from place to place. Uh, at the end of the Orange Islands, he allowed Lapras to go and reunite with its family. This is a nice thing. Um, it was one of the more, it was one of the less frustrating releases, uh, of Ash's Pokemon. Next is the Ash Greninja. Uh, it was left behind in the Kalos region to take care of the landscape there after, uh, Zygarde had basically asked Greninja to stay and help him detect the roots that, uh, that Neo Team Flare had created under under the land of Kalos. Uh, Greninja decided to stay. Ash thought, yes, it was probably best for him to stay. And he was released there. There are hints that he might come back. I don't know. We'll see. 
hopefully he does he was a pretty crazy cool pokemon but we'll see and also just i think prior to that episode gudra was released um gudra's returned back to the wetlands where ash had found it and it was something that we all knew was going to come eventually because ash sort of promised him that he would return him so gudra was released there next are the pokemon that ash traded away uh, ash for a very very brief amount of time actually owned a radicate he received it from a gentleman on the saint anne um right before it crashed and then afterwards after it crashed uh they managed to trade back uh, ash had traded away his butterfree for the radicate and then he managed to receive the butterfree back uh just in time basically ash owned eradicate for about the span of one episode uh next is apom uh apom was received by was was caught by ash initially and then was traded away by Ash to Dawn for her weasel. Uh, so he owned an Apom for a little while there. Uh, next we've got technically Beedrill. During the bug catching contest, uh, Ash caught a Beedrill that, ca that allowed him to win the bug catching contest. And any Pokemon he caught he was allowed to keep. The Beedrill he gave away to Casey was a pokemon trainer and a friend who loved black and yellow so he kind of just gave it to her uh so the pokemon is now with her uh next are the pokemon that were technically with ash he never actually caught them but they were with ash uh for a reasonable amount of time it's not like he just kind of rented them uh for one episode he, he had them for like two or three episodes sometimes more but we've got haunter uh, Haunter was not caught by Ash, but borrowed by Ash in order to defeat Sabrina, uh, the tr uh, the Pokemon trainer, the uh, psychic type Pokemon trainer, uh, and he had Haunter for all about like two episodes, but it made Sabrina happy. He won the uh, he won that he won that gym battle, and my guess is that Haunter is still somewhere with Sabrina next is larvatar larvatar was with ash for a very good amount of time but he received larvatar from professor elm in an egg he hatched him and he eventually returned him to mount silver where his mother lived uh and he lives with his mother the tyranitar uh until this until this very day uh, so that's where larvatar is and he was actually a pretty crazy member of his group he was very strong uh, next is Nebi, the Cosmog. It was technically with Ash for a little while, but Ash never actually caught it. So for a little while there, it was with Ash. Uh, finally, we've got all the Pokemon that Ash has sort of borrowed to ride in various episodes, like Ponyta and Rapid Ash. Um, you can make the argument for Togepi. He borrowed Pokemon in the past in order to win various gym battles. Uh, but I wouldn't count those because they weren't more than one episode. So that's about it. That's all the Pokemon that Ash owned over this entire course of time. Um, what, what, what Pokemon are you excited to see Ash catch in the future?